Hi there. So what is the difference between grading through ratings or grading through whole grades? Sounds complicated, right? But it isn't really. There are huge differences. We're going to create both kinds of forms so that you can see what it's like. So first thing I'm going to do is, you're right, turn editing right at the top right. This is Moodle 4.4. And the theme is move and the course format is one topic. So let me go into add an activity or resource, go into a form, which is under activity. Let's do that very, very quickly here. Uh, and there's the forum. We'll add a name and this is going to be grading by rating. Okay. And um, since we need to have a description for now, we'll add the same thing. We'll just copy it. We don't need to display a description and availability and, and so on. I don't add attachments ever because I don't want uh, students and I to have to upload, download and so on. All right. So notice over here, there is whole grade, whole form grading and there's ratings. Now, ratings don't have to be by number, okay? But I'm going to do it that way. And I'll choose maximum rating. You can choose whatever you want. And I'm going to have a point, right? And notice it's going to be out of 100, which is what I always do with my adult learners. And then I'll just save and display so you can see what it looks like. Okay, so uh, this is the form. You add a discussion topic and then students get graded. Okay, so uh, I'll just write hello and then another hello. Okay, that's uh, how I'm going to get started and then post to forum. All right, so that's uh, me over here. Let's go into back into topic two and we're going to add another activity and resource. This time we're going to add a form with a whole grade. Okay, so notice uh, whole form grading. So we'll add whole forum grading instead of by rating. It's going to be by whole form. Right, so next we're going to ignore the rating because you can't have both. We'll go into whole form grading. And then we'll, again, here you can also have a scale just like in the rating, but we're going to hit point. Then out of 100, grade to pass, same 100. And here notice you have simple direct rating marking or you can have a rubric here, which is one difference. And then we'll simply... Well, we can, of course, we need to add conditions and the requirement is, of course, they have to do that, receive a grade and a passing grade, which is 100. And it will look like, here it comes. I'm actually using whole form, so make sure that you get that right or it'll just uh, prompt you and let you know that there's something wrong. And now here it is. So let's go back into our topic. Oh, we can start a discussion, of course. So we'll just uh, call it test or whatever you want to call it. Test. Okay. And then we'll post to forum. So we've done it. Students don't really see any differences actually when they're adding a discussion topic. Let's go back into topic two. Now we've got grading by rating and whole form grading. Okay, the forms look exactly the same. So that's not something that the students can recognize. They're exactly the same. Now we're going to turn the editing mode off. Okay, we're going to change our role. Okay, so I've switched to a student as you can see. Just to show you, just for this demonstration, of course, you don't normally do this. The students will um, do the activity. So the student will go in, grading by rating. And then, okay, the student, notice uh, there is nothing here because I wasn't really 
a student. So if you're going in as a teacher or a manager or anything like that, this isn't going to work. So you need to go in as a student. So I suggest you get an account, another account, and go in as a student, which is what I'm going to do. All right, so here I'm in as a student, not by role, but actually as a real student. I'm going to go to grading by rating, and this is what the teacher had added. I'm going to add a discussion topic, and this time I'm going to write my name, Nellie, as a student. Okay, and then I'm going to copy that just for the sake of this demonstration so you can see what happens with the two formats. Okay, the rating and the whole grade. Right, so I've done that. I can delete this one. No, I can't, right? Because I'm a student. Let's go back into topic two, and this time we're going to go into the whole form grading. Click on that, and this time I'm going to add a new topic, and we'll call it Nelly for whole grade. Okay, I want a whole grade, and I'll just copy that. Okay, you decide what the criteria is, of course, for your uh, and post to forum. And now I've got, for both of them, let's go back into topic two. All right, now we're going to go back and come in as the teacher. Now I'm in as the teacher, and I'm going to go into the first one, grading by rating. And notice I've got two posts here. One is Nelly as a student. And I can rate that and notice I'll give a grade out of a hundred that's full grade and then that's it I can add a comment of course reply and so on but for our sake I'm just going to go back to hello that's the other one and notice this one because it was written by um, the teacher I can't grade it you can't grade teachers going to go back to topic two and this time we're going to go into the whole grade and notice how you grade. If I go into um, this one Nelly for whole grade notice I cannot grade here at all. I can reply but I cannot grade. So let's go back here and take a look at where you can grade. You need to go into grade users so actually there's no way i mean you can tell by the last post okay for example this is the last one the other one was done by me as the teacher now we're going to go in and grade the users the students okay and this is what you will see you will see nelly for whole grade that's what i wrote and now you can give nelly a grade all your students will appear you'll just go through these arrows and you'll get to the next student and the next student and notice what else is available here toggle full screen you can close this and so on you can also search for students and this is sometimes really really important if you've got a huge class just search for them and grade them that way you're not going to start looking for them okay you can see that this is in the sandbox whole grade whole form grading and the grading notice also here uh, yes, send notification to student. I like this. I'm going to give uh, the student a hundred, of course, and then don't forget to save. So you'll save and then it'll take you to the next student. But since we don't have notice here, it says grade saved for Dr. Nelly Deutsch. That's me. Right. So now I'm going to go in as a student. But before I do, let's go back into the sandbox and topic two and go in as the teacher and see, as the student and see what the student sees. So now we're in as a student. Let's go and see what's going on here. Grading by rating. I'm going to go into Nelly as a student. And then I see 100. And if you've got multiple teachers, you'll have numbers here. The student 
doesn't know who graded this task. But the student will see the grade like this when it's under rating. Let's go back to topic two and this time whole form grading. And this is what the student will see. Let's go into Nelly for whole grade. Okay, uh, I think it's maybe this one. The student will not see anything. Okay, it's this one actually. Okay, the student needs to go into view grades in order to see um, the grade. So view grades, just like grade, view grade. And this is what the student will see. Grade 100. All right, so that's what it will look like. 100 out of 100. And it was graded. And that's it. If you have any questions about whole grade form or uh, rating, grading by rating, whole form grading, or grading by rating, uh, let me know in the uh, comment box below and enjoy Moodle as a teacher and as a student. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.